Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Anodyne 2. Now, I was just going to collect some coins. Not necessarily every single coin, um, but, you know, just a couple, just in case we unlock more stuff and to get that out of the way early. And, uh, you know, generally return to the western beach to um, do uh, what I said we were going to do and explore the rest of it and find the, the nano point there. But uh, then I found this meta. Uh, info point here. And remember that there might be a couple more that we haven't visited yet. The world of New Zealand is all about playing with scale. Take a closer look at these cattails. There are no normal ca no normal cattails. What cattails? What are you talking about? They are uh, designed after the single self life forms radiolarians, which are known for their elaborate mineral skeletons. I mean, these weird mushroom-looking things, those don't look like cattails at all. And I am aware that that is a kind of plant. Um, hmm. Perhaps you have seen famous drawings of radiolarians before in an illustrated encyclopedia. The illustrator was a bad person, and we shall not name them. What are you talking about? Is that referring to anything real, or is that just more nonsense? I really... I can never tell with this game. It's hard to tell when it's being serious. Ah, uh, there could be something... Well, you know what? I should probably check. Oh, there's... There are coins all over the place, and I can't get them. Can I shoot them? No. Interesting. Was not able to... Whoa, what? I just entered that pipe from the side? Hmm. Can you actually climb these... structures? It's kind of hard to tell... where they are, where you are. Okay, yes, you can climb them. You can actually climb outside of... I thought this was some kind of tunnel. Are we not underwater here? I, uh, I guess I just don't understand what this area is at all. I thought this was... We are we're lo basically looking at some kind of uh, aquarium. Uh, why? I cannot approach that coin at all. Do you have anything useful to say? This area cost a few days to create, and yet bask in its beauty. Does this orb of branches not make you wonder who created it? Yes, yes, in the creation of New Zealand, physics and realism know no bounds. In fact, physics and realism just don't exist. Our motto is, let the imagination fly and take you to the moon, as well as, please don't complain about minor visual problems to me. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is absolutely fascinating to look at. I've no idea what's up with this coin, though. This is hmm, bothering me a little bit more than I probably should. Uh, some coins up here. Really not that many. Not enough to make it worth doing this platforming here. As simple as it is. But, you know, I'm here. Might as well. Point is there. Surely you couldn't reach it from you can't reach it from this side though, right? I guess it's technically the same physical space. Just a camera shift. I mean, actually looking in the right direction would you know what? That would have worked. Huh. Okay, so I'll actually look in the right direction. Or you know what? I can probably just jump from here. That's gonna work. Weird. Is that intentional? What? I can actually just do this? Oh my god, and then I fall. <laughs> How very awkward. Okay, well. That's done. That was worth it for three more coins. Sure. Well, three and whatever. However many were in this section. Uh, yeah, well, we did get some info, some, some meta info, so I guess that was kind of worth it. Doing this little extra bit of exploration that I wasn't really expecting to do. Certainly not expecting to record. Okay. Hello. You know what, I'm, I'm really not going to... I really shouldn't be, and I'm trying not to bother with going out of my, out of my way to collect more coins. It's really something I should just 
save for off camera. But meta info points, of course, like those two back here. Well, that's a different thing. Ah, Blue Vale East is truly a sprawling area. It is. But through the use of landmarks, you'll always know where you're going. The trees lead towards the woods. The rocky hill path leads towards the note. The highway leads you to the south, leads to the south, and so on. With the power of landmarks and being able to easily see from one landmark to another, navigation becomes easier. You know what would also help? Not that I'm really complaining, but just as a little observation. If the map actually showed my exact location, that would also help. You may be asking, why does the lower portion of this gate look weird and stretched instead of like normal bricks? Oh, you know what? Until you said something, I didn't even notice. I doubt you would understand the true technical answer, which involves UV, ultraviolet maps. I guess you could say we were planning on the gates being shorter at first, and when we decided to make a taller version of the gate, we didn't feel like getting more bricks. So we stretched out the bricks with our patented no-work technique, and thus was born the beautiful and unique patterning you see before you today. I know pretty exactly what's going on here, and I don't mind it one bit. It fits this game perfectly. Surely there must be something about the... The house, right? Please tell me there's an info point t talking about this thing. Are we really not going to address the house turkey dinosaur? Aw. Maybe there's going to be one info point for this entire area, which is by far the most interesting part of this whole map. Well, not here. Not here. Uh-oh. Hmm. That's sad. Nothing, huh? Well, okay. Fine. Now, in order to get back to Sinode... Wait, I don't want to go to Sinode. I actually want to go to the Western Beach. I could go through Northern Outer Sands, but I think I want to save them. I'm pretty sure I haven't entered them yet. Have I? No. Pretty sure I haven't. So I'm, I want to save that for, you know. Uh, right, yeah, this is the right way. Again, showing the location on the map would help clear things up, but that's fine. Right, here I'll have to quickly... Nope, not collect those, I guess. Wait, wasn't there an info point when I was here last time? Maybe not. I guess some did get added later. Doesn't this strange village immediately grab your interest? It does. Environmental designs such as these enable us to spark our storytelling by creating a level a level shape that we combine with narrative themes such as arrogance and overwork. The two, writing and level, work hand in hand to produce the nanopoint you explored. I see. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Okay, anyway, I'll have to go up here and that works seamlessly, very nice. And we're back here. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have just not been north of here at all. So let's just change that now. And in fact, why don't we start with what's clearly a point of interest. Oh, there are more of these, or at least one more of these weird horse things. Dude, you're partially hanging over the side of the boat there. I hope that's fine. Boat! Okay. All right. Blueprints as a sale. That's creative. Ah, you know what? I kind of had a feeling that we might see these guys soon. No one of import. That's a pretty cool name, actually. Oh there, cleaner of the dust. Welcome to Import. I'm no one, the founder and mayor of this famous seaside town. Huh? You have never heard of Import? Oh, well, perhaps you have amnesia. That would make for quite an engaging tale, as it would unify your perspective with that of the players, allowing for emotional re revelations about your past that shake you to your core. Hmm. 
there wouldn't be another commentary on game design, right? No, surely not. I myself have suffered from a bit of amnesia, or perhaps not, it's hard to say. All I know is that one day I awoke on the shores of this beach, salt-soaked and bedraggled. Was that the beginning of my life? Or just a returning of your memory, who knows? Oh, hello. Wait, what does the detector say about this area? No cards remaining, so by definition this must be a patch. Base of the Trilog color, never mind. One of these, just out in 3D space. A mysterious and ancient artifact. Its smooth white surface is marked by three circular slots spaced along the front. Oh, I see. Now we have the base for these locks. Red lock, grand lock, and let me guess, blue lock, perhaps? Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. And seemingly completely optional. I, I have a feeling like... My, I mean, obviously this, this glandulock seed, right? That's, that's pretty much the center's... Uh, the device that the center is using to keep an eye on us at all times, even while we're in nanoscale where no one else can, or I guess especially when while we're in nanoscale where normal people can't keep uh, track of us. And obviously the, the glandulock seed got pretty angry about some of those, uh, you know, revolutionary views of the, the dustborn, the, the dustbound. So... I'm assuming, suspecting, that we'll end up um, putting this collar on the glandulock seed to uh, stop it from, I don't know, reporting to the center or maybe just, or actually stopping it from, from stopping us, perhaps, uh, if and when we decide to rebel against the center. Should it come to that? I mean, obviously, we don't know if that's what's going to happen, but it's certainly not, it doesn't seem that far-fetched, does it? We'll see, though. Crustacea. This beach looks out onto the substration sea. It is said that the center grew New Zealand from out of the waters. What was the center doing before then? Ah, such questions have no answer. Well, I mean, if we could ask the center... Well, no one is quite concerned with the true meaning of the boat, but I'm content to have a place to call my own. Is there really such a thing as true meaning? Mm, I believe so, yes. I find it quite comforting to look out at the sea, because it reminds me that the world is finite. Ah, this is where it all ends, I think to myself. How reassuring. <laughs> yeah, I, I see where he's coming from. But at the same time, I do like exploring. What a very interesting place. Oh, I've always been subject to sudden bouts of fainting, during which I would experience the most peculiar dreams. I heard a voice commanding me, Do not create the boat! The boat is forbidden! The boat shall be your downfall! Really? I became obsessed! What is the boat? I would wonder. I began to carry a journal with me so that I could record my speculations, and press the voice for further information. Oh. Wait, never mind. Um, although, I don't know, maybe this is gonna be the, the nano point? For this area? Venerated dream voice, I said. If it would please you, explain to me the qualities of the boat, lest I create it accidentally, out of ignorance. <laughs> ah, fair point, replied the voice. This you must never create. An oblong vessel, curved along the bottom, of size and strength enough to carry passengers upon its top, for top surface. Thank you for your vigilance against the boat. And so my days would pass. Slowly I pieced together a finer and finer understanding of the boat from the admonitions of the voice. Certainly, make no such shape as has a white surface area with, <laughs> with hollow interior. Beware of hanging large cloth from any tall poles which may rise from the center of your object. Seek not to bring the front side of your creation to a to tapered point, lest it cut through its surrounding medium with great efficiency. <laughs> we wouldn't have that. I began to create many different models of the boat, which now form the infrastructure of the town of import. And yet, as proud as I am of all of my work, I still feel a bit hollow. Why was the dream voice so concerned about these mundane, if beautiful, structures? What is the true meaning of the boat? Who knows? I mean, they make for interesting houses. With a nice look at the sea. A nice, yeah. But what they could actually be used for, other than that, I have no idea. Ho there, cleaner of the dust. Welcome to import. Really? That's it, huh? Okay. 
So I guess no nano cleaning necessary here. But how much more even is there to this area? I guess there's actually quite a bit more. If this rock structure north of here is the one visible on the map. Just a quick look at these rocks here. If I can't even get to the top of them. Or if there's anything more here. Well, there's some coins. That's something. Also, okay, there are more coins back there too that I somehow missed. Not that I've been looking for them very carefully. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like... Well, maybe I can climb this? I don't know. Can I? Oh, I sure can. And there's nothing on top. Okay, fair enough. I also have not explored any meta spaces yet. And some of these that remain actually sound pretty interesting. I mean, actually all of the ones remaining sound pretty interesting. Levitating Ruins, Solitude Isle, Fierce Birthplace is very mysterious. Jokenland, I mean, that sounds like I have a... At least I have a vague idea what this could be, or maybe not so vague. Steelborn Den, Carpet Realm, that's, that one's... I really want to see what this is all about. You know what? Since that is the case, and there is absolutely no reason to strictly go in order, I'm going to... Check this out. Oh, a 2D space. Right, I had not even considered that there would probably be, you know, test spaces for for 2D adventures. That makes a lot of sense. Are we going to see info points here? Oh, yes we are. Uh, welcome to Old Dust Village. Haha, <laughs> I made that name. This is an old version of Dustbound Village. Oh, okay. I see. Right, these are walls, as expected. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Wait, you cannot... You can walk off. Huh, there's absolutely no collision for these. There is for walls, though. But I'm assuming that it just... No, I guess scrolling is just indefinite. By default, probably. Hmm. But I'm assuming there is no, there are no hidden things to find. Several screens of, of emptiness across. Yeah. Hmm. Also, the text says Great Guam. For some reason. Okay. I guess that's all there is here. Oh. Yeah. The red carpet does extend. I mean, I, I have to make sure there's nothing else here, but it seems like we're getting to the end of it. Yep. And back here. Okay, I think I've seen everything. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Right, and that apparently that always puts you to where you entered. Uh, where you last entered the current 3D space from. I guess that's the reason why the game needs you to enter a different uh, 3D space if you just loaded the game, because it doesn't have a point to put you after your return. Fair enough, I guess. Let's do one more. What else sounds interesting? Veil of Beginnings. I mean, that sounds like the very first version of Blue Veil. Yes, maybe. Could be. Hello. Here's an old version of Blue Veil. You may recognize this from old promotional materials. Um, I don't, because I have never seen any, but I see. Ooh. Hello, Psalmist. Huh. An older version? Or just untextured? Looks pretty much the same. And this, of course, we also know there's a floating orca person. Okay. Let's quickly drive along this just to see if there's anything else to see here. But it does not look like it. Okay, well, that was short and sweet. Can we do another one? Yeah, sure. One more. 
Let's go with the Levitating Ruins, that sounds pretty cool. Okay, it's another one of these very sketch-like ones. Oh, there's Nova in pain. There's Nova being animated, actually. Huh. That's pretty neat. A lot of the structures here were S playing around with architecture and level style ideas. The far, far place in the distance was a mock-up from Blue Vale West, and even contains an art gallery by M at the top. Far, far at the... You mean that up there? That's not that far away. Did you know everything in New Zealand is made of purple cubes? Haha, <laughs> not really. But those purple cubes are what, uh... Well, just go walk into one. Oh. Yeah, okay. Wait. Those don't work. One of them... I thought that once I walked into one of them it changed the level... Or uh, displayed the level... Zone name, I should say. Okay. I see. Hmm. So I guess technically an invisible version of one of these boxes just encompasses every single area in the game. So uh, I'm assuming there's something worthwhile up here, or not. Can we climb this? Is this the place in the distance? I mean, if there's an art gallery, then clearly... Yeah, okay. It must be possible to reach it. There it is. I hope that's all there is here. I mean, there is that other structure on the other side there. Oh, there's a lot of art here. Adeline 2. Return to dust. Hmm. The uh, subtitle font is different now. Um, what could this be? Huh. Is any of this recognizable? from the finished game. I can't even tell if these are top-down views of areas or side view. Huh. Shoot slime up through fire... what? Shoot slime up through fireball to light bomb gate. Yeah, okay. Something like that actually happened. Huh. Pig 01, pig 02. I guess they're pig-like enemies. Or is that supposed to be shots from a pig-themed dungeon? In Central... Uh, okay, yeah, sure. The minigame. Oh, this is cool. This is really neat, actually. Wow. I like it. I really hope we return to the Dustbound at some point. Obviously, they will play a role again, right? I mean, they must. Just after jump, cut to camera behind Nova as she spins through air, shrinking into NPC. Oh yeah, okay. Of course, that's what happens. Big, medium, small. Small? Oh, interesting. What's that point? What? What's it say there? Up there. Point of interest? Does that say point of interest? Maybe. Medium, point of interest. Oh yeah, point of interest, actually. Okay. Small, procedural? Is that minigame? Hmm. Oh, some interesting ideas. Palisade, hello. Kind of what she looks like, I guess. Hmm. Pretty. Not entirely sure what part of the game that represents. Yes, this is recognizable. Although this is more like a stone... Well, I suppose it was a stone spire, wasn't it? I guess a color... Uh, color palette is a little bit different. Seep cell mist. Items scroll by. What? Do they? ATB? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Was this supposed to be an RPG at some point? <laughs> I don't know. Push gum, block around, shoot bone block at gum. Bridge up here, yeah. Sure does. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. But again, it's pretty. 
And this is, yeah, this is a general sketch of the layout of the lands. Oh, this one was fascinating. I like this a lot. Okay, um, return, yes. Again, that's going to be it in, as far as meta spaces go for this one, for this episode. Let us travel further north and hopefully find that uh, find the nano space for this. Which we'll probably only enter next episode. Yeah, looking at the timer. It's probably going to happen that way, but we'll see. Oh, wait, there's nothing here. Hold on a second. Hold on just a second. This is actually the exit. So the the rock structure visible on the map must be those rocks there in the middle. It's kind of what I thought, but they seem too small. Hmm. But the mayor is not in need of cleaning. You're not in need of cleaning, clearly. But if there is a, a card symbol on the map... Yeah, actually what I only just now noticed is that the card symbol for the uh, the uh, eastern outer sands actually disappeared. Because there were two, of course, and we now did get rid of both. So that by definition means that there is one remaining here. Um, guess I'll talk to you again. No, it's just hmm, the meaning of the boat. Is that supposed to tell me something? Am I supposed to? Also, this is actually this this boat has been reversed at some point because it doesn't say boat on the side. Oh, that's on this side, I guess. So it's just the texture being mirrored on both sides. Yeah, that's actually true for all of them. Hmm. There is no other person. No, that was just that item was. Hmm. Hmm. Am I missing something substantial here? Obviously, this place does have an access point to... You know what? That might be the case. This place has an access to the Nexus. I mean, I was expecting there to be another similar access access point um, in the northern Outer Sands, which we have yet to explore. But maybe there isn't. I don't know. Maybe, this, uh, maybe the Nexus is strictly accessed from here, and thus the Nexus and that 2D area accessed from the Nexus all count toward this map here. Oh, how do we... Huh? Is there something to climb? Oh yeah, you can actually stand on the middle of these bushes. Because obviously you can. Alright. Hmm. So, I don't know, that's the only thing that I can see that this could be. So, uh, maybe we'll just... Um, go into nanoscale and possibly, uh, uh, possibly, eventually, into picoscale at some point. I guess I'll look, I can look around a little bit in this place, or rather in the this this place here. I think. Yes, Pastel Horizon. That's right. There are so many things to be found. Northern shore of the Pastel Horizon. Let's see, I mean, it looks like much of this area is covered by water. In fact, like 90% of it, so... There might not be as much to do here as it seemed at first. Only the one with the vacuum can use its suction to swiftly sail through the Pastel Horizon. Really? Hmm. Can I, though? Hello? If the raft is gone, summon one with the bell. Well, I mean, it's not gone, so I don't need to summon one. You are the one on the uh, teleporter uh, portal icon. Cherry. The pastel horizon glows pink, a rare natural beauty. This sakura grows from its water. It's been here forever. I watch over it. Hmm, you can use a raft, can't you? I assume I can, yes. There was a man. He would pace the shore, staring into the water. 
Oddly, he'd do this every day. I asked him why he came so often. He just said, please don't worry. People have their reasons, so I left it at that. But one day, he stopped coming. No one stays here forever. Couples stroll the shore, children swim, some stare into the horizon, some come to cry. But something was different about this man's absence. Many of us are unable to use rafts. We can, we can only wonder what's beyond the sea. Though we know the petals of this tree hold a power, they can guide us to the lost. And more, the petals seem to be leading to something. Hmm, okay. Subtle hint to follow the petals on the water. There was a man. Okay. And we've looked around. You cannot be pico scaled. There's another raft here. Fascinating. Oh, oh. Wait. What? Oh, that's unfortunate. It's gonna be a bit problematic, isn't it? I guess it just means that we can't just go ahead, ouch. And, um, oh, boy. And spit without thinking. Oh, we can actually push the raft, which makes absolutely no sense, but okay. Wait. I keep thinking it's like this reverse thing where you, you know, aim in the direction you want to move away from, but here we literally just, literally just suck ourselves forward. Okay, better be removed, but I guess this is the, the chance to maybe farm some more dust that I was hoping to see. Really not sure where we are going at this point? I guess we're exploring this top corner. Okay, we'll just have to oh, move through here somewhat awkwardly. I okay. I can't believe I took as little damage as I did there. Please fit through. Pretty tight fit. Okay. Ultimately, this went all right. What have we here? Oh, a key. Really. But there wasn't anything. Oh. Anything more over this way, was there? That was interesting. Actually, I kind of want that. Yeah, this was just uh, strictly one way. So I guess I needed to get that? Oh, good thing I did. Also, I feel like there was something else south from where we first entered. Yes. There was this. And, yeah, okay, that we cannot cross that. Fair enough. Are we going to loop all the way around to eventually open that? No, wait, that's not even locked, is it? Hmm. Interesting. You know what? I have a feeling like this is going to take quite some time to fully explore. Also, I mean, there is just... Apparently there's at least three cards to be found here, which is crazy. Plus whatever that purple symbol signifies, and a heart piece too. So yeah, this might be actually might be quite the, the major endeavor. So I'm going to end it here, and we're going to continue exploring next time. I hope the key just stays safe forever and will stay with me until I can use it. But I assume that's the case. I mean, either, either way. Worst case scenario, I'll re-get it again. Uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.